A frightening spectacle is always attractive. Tell me, wouldn't you stop to watch as dozens of alligators crowd in a lake like a party? Or when the seawater looks like a cactus due to the shark fins sticking out everywhere? Curiosity is our forte, and there's so much in nature that's worth seeing. You're on the Top Facts channel, and today we'll observe the fantastic creatures that sometimes gather in one place. Let's quickly dive into the eerie. Now, we are going to explore the scariest creatures found in water bodies. When we see bubbles on the water, we inevitably expect to see the reason for their appearance. These strange sensations were experienced by a kayaker during a trip on Lake Norman in North Carolina. Mysterious bubbles on the water's surface are not a good omen. What if a monster jumps out or gas columns rise? The man described them as foam. He didn't smell a gas and had no idea what was happening around him. One thing he knew for sure, the lake's depth at this point exceeded 36 feet. After posting the video online, there were comments like, it's Nessie breathing. The most logical explanation seems to be from an underwater source, but what do you think? The family experienced a literal shock during a boat trip. First, they saw a wave that looked like a tide in the water, but upon closer inspection, someone was moving it. It turns out, if you see a wave, the one who created it is already right under your boat. At that moment, a huge fish pushed the boat, and it was enough to hit full throttle. People hurried to get to a safe place. If the shark was so big, it's unknown what its plans were for the evening. For me, this incident proved that not every impressive spectacle is worth seeing. Some are better watched on the Top Facts channel. This feast for all was organized by all the waterfowl living on the Bill Williams River in Arizona. When there's a lot of food, they can unite. Although they usually live in flocks, it's rare to see different species dieting side by side. According to experts, birds, when mixed in such assemblies, are more likely to find potential food sources. So consider that cousins are helping each other to host a festival. This kayaker was simply enjoying the tranquility of the river when he reached its mouth into the ocean. And then the water went crazy before his eyes. I can't even imagine how scary it must be. What unknown creatures stirred up and what danger it posed to a person on a flimsy boat? I would have thought that I entered the domain of a sea demon. In fact, it's not so terrible. The kayaker accidentally startled a herd of manatees. They looked like giant seals and made a lot of noise. So when going out to the open ocean, make sure you're not swimming near a herd of sea cows. Sometimes fishing can do without a rod. If suddenly the fish behave like a school of carp, a net is enough. Or you could do nothing at all. The fish will simply jump into the boat themselves. These crazy jumps of a large school of silver carp are inexplicable, as if they were angry at the fishermen for violating the boundaries of their territory. In fact, this type of carp comes from Asia. They started breeding them on farms, and they somehow escaped into the wild. Apparently, this season was more overpopulated than the rest, but the fishy fireworks delighted everyone. Everyone knows the orca's second name, Killer Whale. But what if you find yourself surrounded by hundreds of bloodthirsty predators? The sight of fins sticking out of the water, even at a great distance, can make you flee immediately. Just imagine the horror you would face if you discovered a group of 300 orcas around you. It's magnificent and terrifying at the same time. The people on the boat were shocked by the enormous number of orcas gathered in one harbor. It is clear that they were not hunting people, but chasing a herring shoal and were engrossed in the feast. After this encounter, the passengers sailed away completely stunned. Probably it was the first and only time they were so lucky. Sailing through the Tombstone Rock in Oregon, this person saw something like a sea lion conference. They covered the elevation so tightly that the shore wasn't even visible. These animals usually live in large groups, but this time they behaved suspiciously. As soon as they were caught off guard, they all jumped into the water and surrounded the boat, as if trying to figure out if the man had intercepted their world domination plans. Fortunately, he managed to pass by them safely and I would recommend staying away from a herd of scheming sea lions. 
If you ever get a chance to dive deep into the ocean, don't be surprised when you meet a long glowing tube. This creature is called a pyrosome. It looks like a giant long sleeve, and inside it is a whole state, free-flowing colonies of zoids, organisms of the polyp genus. They drift into the open ocean and fruits or food, microscopic plankton, so the entire floating caravan glows in the depths. The size of the colonies can reach several inches to 66 feet in length, and the tube's width is sometimes large enough for a person to swim inside. Would you want to try it? In the Indian state of Haryana, something resembling a monster's back, the Leviathan, began to rise from the water. People were frightened and puzzled until they realized that it was just the Earth. Some considered it a sign of the end of the world, but since heavy rains and landslides are common in India, it happens that the soil behaves actively. It swelled and began to move. Experts suggested that methane gas might have been present there, so they got a mud pie with baking powder. What can be found in the waters in the Montana River besides fish and algae? In July 2014, something unusual was discovered there. Would you be shocked if you saw something like this? Like three Boeing 737 airplanes and their parts falling into the water? How could such a crash happen? It turns out that this is a technical drama, not an aviation tragedy. All of these parts ended up in the river after a train accident that was transporting Boeing parts to Washington. It derailed right at this section, and the parts of the Boeing scattered along the shore. An amazing sight, isn't it? Everyone has heard of the Loch Ness Monster, and echoes in the myth or reality are heard throughout Northern Europe. The inhabitants of Iceland, for example, are sure that a giant worm monster lives in their bodies of water. This video has already made a splash on the internet and the debates have not subsided. Was there a worm or not? The local residents' testimonies are rather vague. They seem to have seen something resembling a giant worm's body. They even shot a video enlarging several screenshots. Experts examined the materials and either it was indeed a new unidentified species or a piece of debris, creating the perfect illusion with its smooth movements. What do you think? A living worm or a piece of plastic? The scariest inhabitants of the Thai rivers are considered to be crocodiles, but once the locals had experienced something much more frightening, because imagination painted what was hidden under the water. Rumors reached this village about the river dragon that appeared on the water's surface and everyone rushed to see it. Indeed, a strange living creature partially surfaced and created the intrigue for everyone. Old-timers and monks declared that this was indeed the mythical Naga, a giant water snake and deity that's been worshipped for centuries. Maybe it was some river mutant. This video puzzled everyone even more. Here, everything is too close and obvious. It's a living creature, very strange in appearance too. It swims through the water of the river of the Brunei and does not try to hide. Agree, no fish look like that. The rivers of the Brunei flow into the South China Sea. Maybe the monster hid there, as it was never seen again. Scientists love exploring the ocean depths because of such finds. They discover the remains of a mysterious creature that peacefully rested at the very bottom. It is difficult to understand at first glance what kind of animal found its last refuge here, but it is still fascinating because the creature's size is astounding. Experts believe the bones could have belonged to a giant shark, but no exact skeleton drawings of this species were found in any archive, a mystery that people descend to the ocean floor seem to be very contagious of. They just want to feel like underwater detectives. The giant grouper lifted by an excavator on the shore of Tampa Bay looks like a sea mine. It was so bloated and weighed 660 pounds. Completely incredible sizes for this species interested scientists, as heavy equipment was required to extract the body from the water. The true cause of its death remained unknown, but most likely it is another alarming signal from the ecological situation. The muddy waters of the Paraguay River washed ashore the carcass of an unknown river creature that resembled an alien. The humanoid body structure and insect-like skull did not resemble any known species inhabiting the area. The locals were concerned that the legends about the chupacabra, the goat vampire, were not fiction. 
and if such creatures were real. Recently, there was a mass death of livestock here. Could this body be the real corpse of a chupacabra? It makes you wonder if all the scary stories are made up. Plantation workers and Borneo could not believe their eyes when they saw this character. What would you feel seeing Gollum from The Lord of the Rings crawl out of the river straight to you? They seem to have fallen into a mythical world. You can't help but get scared. Although the video was filmed, and now we have to guess what kind of creature inhabits the swamps of Borneo. Answers appeared later when the video was uploaded to the internet. Experts claimed it might have been the emaciated sun bear, stripped of its fur by an unknown disease. Let's take a little journey back in time. A group of fishermen off the coast of Madagascar caught a fish they could not identify. It seems such specimens died out millions of years ago. It was a four-legged fossil fish. Such swam on the earth 420 million years ago. And this one was quite alive and swam calmly in the Indian Ocean. It had eight fins, big eyes, and a small mouth, and a unique pattern of white spots that allowed each fish to be individually identified. Or maybe just recent evolution laid low for a while and still continues. The most monstrous catfish that a fisherman tried to catch with his bare hands also refers us to the Loch Ness Monster. Just look at these sizes. Such a catch you'd have to struggle with. The catfish monster apparently was not used to fishing lines in its area, and the fishing quickly turned into a battle. You can't handle this with a net nor bare hands. Periodically, fishermen catch monsters, and it seems such cases give birth to sea legends and tales. These guys were looking for a giant shark at the river's mouth, but the water prepared another surprise for them. After a long wait and a tense struggle, they pulled out not a shark, but a giant grouper. This monster, weighing over 220 pounds, boasts of its weaponry. Just look at its fins. The shark hunters were extremely surprised, because groupers of such sizes are a real phenomenon. Any fish of such dimensions, by default, is already a monster. Seeing this, I would turn my boat around. It seems that these crocodiles have all gathered in the swamp for a buffet. According to this fisherman, he had never seen so many of them in one place, and we believe it. Whether there were countless fish or another reason, it's better not to tempt fate and to get out of there as quickly as possible. One careless move here, and you risk becoming the main dish at a crocodile buffet. If you still think these cute hippos gathered here for a baby soap commercial, I'm sad to disappoint you. A drama unfolded in the river's basin, a huge number of enraged hippos against a single alligator. The predators simply had nowhere to escape from these grips. We do not know how the scene ended, but it clearly was an unlucky day for the crocodile. I've concluded hippos are very dangerous animals, especially when there's many of them. This Brazilian river was quiet. That is, until hundreds of crocodiles occupied it. They arranged a real beach in the mud, and a random eyewitness stumbled upon the spectacle. Shortly, he later dreamed of a river teeming with crocodiles. Although they're small, they are nevertheless completely real. These strange hissing sounds, do you hear them? They fill the air around. What are they eating there, and why are so many of them gathered? An encounter with a crocodile in the river is fascinating, until the reptile decides it wants to get closer. Here we see close proximity. So far, there's nothing dangerous, and this man was delighted to see a crocodile swimming just a few inches away. One second, and the predator decided not to swim by. It decided to teach the naive observer a lesson. One head turn, and here we have a guest. Watch how firmly it got down to business. I would be speechless. Imagine an encounter in the boat face to face. A striking story of compassionate treatment of the most terrible animals came to us from Indonesia. This crocodile made a fatal mistake in its youth. When it's young and slim, it decided to try on a motorcycle tire and got stuck in it for six years. 
Imagine its suffering when a large alligator could no longer breathe and move normally. Equally amazing is the locals didn't leave it without help. But what could they do on their own? The authorities announced a reward for those who could free the crocodile and promised all imaginable help. Volunteers appeared and they finally freed the alligator. I wonder what gratitude from the predator would look like. A sunny day, a river, a forest, and a picturesque bridge. An ideal picture place to swim, right? Wrong. This person was about to jump into the river, unaware of what was waiting for him. And there lurked a real monster alligator. Just take a closer look and see how perfectly it camouflages. Now, let us look at the actual size and be horrified. This monster reached up to 16 feet in length and lives in Florida. So, don't trust the clear weather. Alligators are everywhere here, even in every river and swamp. So, stay alert. Imagine your worst nightmare. Did it work? What we're about to show you is so much scarier. You are slowly kayaking through the murky waters of an unknown river in the jungle. And suddenly, a huge reptile, coiled like a spring, jumps at you. Upon closer inspection, the body turned out to be lifeless. Impressions? Probably enough to quit kayaking, right? You were expecting an ordinary fish, but caught a hefty dead carcass. This man, out of curiosity, lifted the body on board and examined it for a while, but still decided to get rid of the catch. You say it's a log, and this guy claims it's a living log. When have you seen such a flexible log 20 meters long? The authors of the video claim they encountered a giant anaconda in the river, and it's swimming about its business. I can hardly imagine touching something like that if I suspected that it were even a little bit alive. The locals were a bit skeptical of the video, claiming that anacondas usually don't move like that in the water. Imagine the snake needed to undulate to swim. But this column is immobile. Wait a second, there is movement. Or maybe it, there seemed to be. Maybe the water is playing a trick on me. This is not the case when an unlucky fisherman caught an empty boot by the hook. In this plot, we'll show you something truly amazing. People usually encounter anacondas during river expeditions, but this group saw something astounding. It seemed this colossal snake had just finished eating a truck, and it was quite clearly moving, but probably could not move from its place. It's known anacondas can swallow something several times their own body size and jaw capacity, but somehow they stretched over their prey like a stocking, and they can go without food for several weeks. Now, we know what that anaconda swallowed. Most likely, its prey was a crocodile. A small crocodile, like a caiman, but it could not overcome its mighty strength. We're used to thinking that the crocodile always wins, but this is not so. Colossal river snakes possess the strength of an elephant, they coil around their prey and immobilize it, patiently waiting to calmly dine. It's amazing that this guy was lucky enough to capture such a sight in the process. And now, let's remember the previous video about that log in the river. I just quiver at the thought. These kayakers definitely will not enter any body of water except a clear pool from now on. They headed to the nearest lake for fun, but their expectations were fulfilled differently. Around their boat appeared a bull shark and began shaking the water around the vessel. This is a large shark and a dangerous predator. They are frequent guests in places where rivers meet the ocean and perfectly survive in fresh water. Pretty crazy, right? How about a scenario from the movie Jaws at a country pond picnic? I used to feel safe on the shores of freshwater bodies, but not anymore. In 2011, a great white shark managed to get into a salt pond in Massachusetts. It lived there for almost a week, terrorizing the public, until it was returned to its registered address in the ocean. Usually, these predator fish do not come into shallow waters, much less into a pond. But there's a reason for this phenomenon. 
According to local residents, there was a strong storm recently and had a high tide. It opened the corridor to the salt pond. It's strange that the shark didn't seek a way back out. Maybe it had enough small fish, or maybe it was waiting for an unlucky vacationer swimmer. These people found a seven-foot male great white shark on the shore. It happened in South Africa, and apparently no one is afraid of sharks here. This male got stuck on the rocks, and there was still some life in him. The people who found the shark decided to help. They took the predator in their arms and went into the water with him and tried to keep him afloat, giving him one last chance for life. Everyone working together extremely hard to return this amazing predator back to the water, but unfortunately, despite all efforts, luck was not on their side and the shark could not return home. But this story makes us think about the true meaning of the word humanity. We're all used to thinking that the greatest evil in the waters is a shark. But what would you say about after watching this video? Piranhas are small fish, but they are armed in a way that would make a shark envious. Everything that gets into the water becomes their prey and is gnawed to the bones in a second if there are any. These guys decided to test their efficiency and threw some bait into the water. It didn't take but a minute for the piranhas to demonstrate the boiling effect in the water. Their razor-sharp teeth can shred anything, and it's impossible to notice them in the water. I don't know about you, but I think I just acquired another phobia. Now it's time to debunk a myth. What you see looks like a mermaid. You see it, and I see it. And now we know that there are no mermaids in rivers or oceans. But keep watching as it swims in clear water. What do you say now? Maybe some bizarre ocean creature got lost in the high tide and ended up in the river. Anyway, before us is a phenomenon that really exists, even if our minds and eyes refuse to believe. Rumors about the mermaid appearance spread throughout the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia in 2018. This strange creature was washed ashore and local fishermen found it. Even they could not determine what species of creature it belonged to, and they were not even sure it was a fish, as this one seemed to have tail-fused legs. Naturally, they could only think that it was a mermaid and call the appropriate authorities. The services arrived, criticized the mermaid theory, but took the mysterious giant with them, probably to not help the rumors spread further. Sometimes a romantic walk along the beach in Brazil leads to thrilling discoveries. A couple of lovers stumbled upon a fossilized hand with long bony fingers sticking out of the sand. We clearly see five fingers, but they're nothing like ours. The scientific community had discussions. Does this hand belong to a human, a sea animal, or an alien? A biologist suggested that the hand skeleton likely belonged to an ancient aquatic mammal. They're based on something, but not something so incredibly obvious. A whale shark versus a giant squid. Seafood also eating each other. The class of two giants is not uncommon in the ocean depths. These two species have been participating in underwater battles for centuries. Giant squids earn the nickname Red Devils among fishermen, as there are no equals of them in a fierce struggle and the whale shark is driven solely by appetite. Before us is a battle captured on video in 2023, and this is about as real as a movie as you can see. Amazing, right? There's an opinion that whales are smart and can be quite friendly. In this video, a group of tourists experienced the most incredible emotional experience when a gray whale approached their boat closely. As you can understand, this is not a pet that you can just pet. But you see, you can, and easily even kiss. Strange that the whales did not swim away from the curious people, but approached it to get it more acquainted. Moreover, they stuck their heads out of the water and allowed themselves to be touched. It seems they really enjoyed the attention. What do you think? Did you enjoy the pats and kisses? Would you dare to kiss a whale? We were lucky to see all this without putting ourselves in danger. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Feel free to like and share it with your friends. At the same time, subscribe to our channel and click that bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. See you next time on Top Facts.